What's going on my Turner Club? You know what time it is. It is time to get ready and prepped for the leaks from GoFest from the other side of the world to make sure you guys know exactly what's coming, exactly what to look out for, PVP, IVs, and everything in between. So welcome to the Trainer Club. Here we go. Welcome back everybody. Let me know in the comments below, did you finally get a GoFest tickets? Because now is the time to start prepping. We are ready to go completely on everything that is gonna have to deal with GoFest right now. So what we're gonna cover is the shiny leaks. We are gonna cover all of these spawns, the spawns during the different hours, and also anything relevant to the meta raid attackers as well as PVP Pokemon. So guys, Oh man, it is going to be absolutely insane out there tomorrow. I hope you guys are ready and prepped to go because we have some awesome news. We actually have confirmed shiny unknown that is gonna be out in the wild. So let's just start with all the shinies right now. All right guys, starting off here, we are just gonna congratulate the winners of the GoFest 2020 third contest that we have had. I really appreciate all of the ability to help everybody we possibly can. So Theo, Austin, and AJ have won GoFest tickets. Everybody in this has been contacted. So if you do see your name in here, please check your email in the spam folder as well. It seems like some of the emails have been going to spam. As far as the merchandise, we have Eva, Tenia, and John. As far as the beanie, we have Tiago, Bikram, and Isaiah. And then as far as the sock bundle, we do have Jari and Mohit. So congratulations, guys. Really appreciate everyone that checked out the podcast and has participated in some of my events this far. We are definitely gonna have more giveaways coming soon. They are super fun for me. And for tomorrow, just letting you guys know for the meetup, we are gonna be meeting up at Disney Springs for anybody in the Orlando area. We are gonna be taking pictures from 9.30 to 10 a.m., which is gonna be by the tents by the Marvel store, which is close to the House of Blues. It's a little secluded area, so it's not too trafficked. So guys, please come out if you're close and definitely respect all the guidelines. I'm excited to see you guys there. And then the bonuses are going to include, incenses are only gonna last for one hour, so we will not have extended incenses beyond the play from home going on right now. And then also, guys, we can open, send, and obtain 200 gifts on day one of GoFest. So that is extremely, extremely exciting. And then I did get news from Recap, who's in my Discord from Australia, that it is gonna be a benefit to us, I think during the friendship time, or also during regular time, we are able to open these gifts. And when opening these gifts, we are able to get our buddies excited a lot faster. So for anybody trying to rank up buddies, this is gonna be a great time for you to get your buddy excited by opening gifts. So if you stay up to date, every 30 minutes, you go in and you play with your buddy, you give it a treat, and then you also take a snapshot and you keep opening gifts, this is gonna be an amazing time for us to rank up our buddies. Unknown being the most desirable shiny right now. As of right now, I hate to break the news to you, I do not see anybody reporting shiny Snorlax. I sure hope that that does change, and at some point in this video, I can edit it in and tell you guys shiny Snorlax is a part of GoFest, but as of right now, it is not. So the shiny unknown, we have all the original Kanto starters with the Pikachu visors that are gonna have shiny potentials. We also have Tangela that is released for a shiny potential, as well as Quillfish, and then also we do have shiny Heatmore, as well as shiny Durant. And then also here, I did wanna point out there have been some shinies added in since I did make this video. Still no Snorlax, hopefully maybe day two. I really would be surprised. I'm gonna be shocked if we don't see the Snorlax. We do have the Jigglypuff that is now gonna be shiny in the wild. And then also we have one more. We have the Woo Bat, which goes into the Swoo Bat. So guys, there are a ton of shinies out there. We have Jigglypuff, which is new. Tangela, which is new. Unknown, which is new. We have Quillfish, that is new. We have Woo Bat, which is new. Heatmore, that's new. And Durant, that's new. That is gonna be seven new shiny Pokemon. I cannot wait to see what day two entails, if it's gonna include any type of shiny Pokemon. That is awesome. So those are all of the reported shinies as of right now. And with that said, I do have some good news for all of you trainers out there that are not participating in GoFest. We do have some spawns that have gone global. The global spawns are gonna include some of the unlocks that are gonna be Alolan Grimer, we have Alolan Marowak, we have Chansey, we have Chimeco, we have Dratini, shiny potentials in most of those except the Chimeco, Togetic, which is not gonna be shiny. However, Togekiss is very good, which we will check out in the PVP section. We have Alomomola. We also have Litwick as well as Feral Seed. So guys, get your Pineapp Berries ready and make sure to Pineapp any of those rare Pokemon that are gonna be global. Those are also going to be included in the Pokemon Go Fest spawns as well. So guys, now what we're gonna get into the top tips to make sure you guys are ready to maximize out on Go Fest because we have all the new news right now and everything that we do have, starting off with tip number one. 
Tip number one is going to include all the spawns that are at GoFest, which are going to be general spawns. These mean that during the entire time, these are gonna be spawning, even with the habitat switch ups. So the habitat switch ups each do have their own set of spawns, which we will check out in a second. So the general spawns are gonna be all the Canto starters, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, with the Pikachu visor and shiny potentials. We do have Pikachu, we do have Jigglypuff, and then Alolan Grimer with a shiny potential. We have Alolan Executor that does have a shiny. We have Chansey that does have a shiny. And we have Eevee, which also does have a shiny. And then we have Dratini with a shiny, Chinchu with a shiny, and then we have Togetic, which is an amazing Pokemon that you guys are going to want to Pineapp. We have Unknown that now has the shiny. We have Seviper and Zangoose that does have a shiny. And then we also have Chimeco, which does not have a shiny. So those are gonna be the general spawns that are happening at GoFest. So now let's check out each of the habitats and how their spawns are going to correlate. All right, just before we jump into this, we do have Rotom that's gonna be appearing in Photobomb. So we do have another Pokemon that has been released. This is fantastic. Make sure to take your photos to get Photobomb by Rotom. All right, so now starting in with the different habitats, we now have the fire habitat. So this is gonna be a bunch of Pokemon, guys. Charmander, don't believe it's gonna be able to evolve with the hat, but it does have a shiny potential. We have Charizard in the wild. Guys, if you do need Charmander candy, Pineapping Charizard, it's gonna be a hard Pokemon to catch, is fantastic, because it's gonna give you 20 Charmander candy. We have Vulpix, Growlithe with the shiny. Ponyta, which somebody asked about if it's gonna be in there with the shiny. We have Alolan Marowak that does have a shiny. We have Magmar, shiny. Yes, I can't wait for that Magmar. We have Flareon, Houndor with shiny. We have Torchic, Numel, Tepig. Make sure to pine up your Tepigs and save onto those because we do have that calm day coming up in the future. We have Darumaka in the fire form, which is fantastic. Definitely make sure to pine up that guy as much as possible. He is not a wild spawn so far. Then we have Litwick, amazing. Definitely a really powerful Pokemon in the Chandelure. And then we have Heatmore, which does have a shiny. And next we have the water habitat, which is gonna have the Squirtle with the Pikachu hat with the shiny. We have Poliwag with the shiny, Tentacool shiny, Slowpoke none. We then have the Magikarp with the shiny. Man, this event is gonna be so insane, guys. I cannot wait. I wouldn't be surprised if people will break 100 shinies in a day. Then we have Chinchu shiny, Quillfish shiny, Mudkip shiny, Carvana shiny, Clampearl shiny, Oshawott, once again, stack that Pokemon up for the future calm days. We have Timple and then Alomomola. And then as far as the grass habitat, we have Bulbasaur with the shiny. Venusaur, guys, is out there. So make sure to get your Venusaurs. And in the water, it didn't say that there was a Blastoise, but there should be a Blastoise spawning in the wild. Those are great for pineapping to get 20 of these starter candies. We have Oddish, shiny. Execute, shiny. Alolan Executor, shiny. Can't wait to get that one. I've only traded for it. The new Tangela, which is a shiny. We have Sunkern, shiny. Shiny, Trico Shiny, C Dot Shiny, Cherum. We have the other Cherum that's going to be in the Sun form. We have Snover, which is a Shiny. We actually have Leafeon spawning in the wild. Snivy, make sure to stock up for future calm day. We have Fungus and Pharaoh Seed. And then as far as the battle habitat, I am loving this one. We have Machop with the Shiny, Alolan Grimer with the Shiny, Skarmory with the Shiny, Slackoth with the Shiny, Sableye with the Shiny, Metatite with the Shiny, Swablu with the Shiny, Zangoose and Saviper both have Shinies. We have Gibble. Oh man, I can't wait for this. With a shiny Krogunk, shiny Need It, Stunfisk, and Durant that does have a shiny as well. Wow, what a Go Battle League derived area. And then finally, we have the Friendship Habitat. Pikachu, shiny. Clefairy, shiny. Jigglypuff now has a shiny. Chansey, shiny. Eevee, shiny. Snorlax, unfortunately, no shiny as of yet. Like I said, hopefully day two. Then we have Togetic, no shiny. Definitely Pineapp that one. That is a rare Pokemon. Going to be great to be able to get it below level 20 for anybody out there that's trying to use it in the Great League. We do have the Meryl shiny, the Sudowoodo shiny, Wobbuffet shiny, Mantine. Then we have Roselia shiny, Phoebus shiny, Chimeco, no shiny, but that one should be giving you extra Stardust. And we do have the Woobot shiny as well. Guys, anything you do need in any of these habitats, make sure to pineapp everything you possibly can. So wow, guys, make sure to get out there and play as much as possible. Make sure to use your pineapp berries for any of those Pokemon that you do not have too much candy of, which is then gonna lead us into tip number two. 
Tip number two is gonna have to deal with all the eggs that are gonna be relevant to this event. So guys, in seven kilometer eggs, we are gonna get a good pool of Galarian Pokemon, baby Pokemon, that are going to be super awesome. So for all you guys out there that are ready for seven kilometer eggs, we're gonna check out all the seven kilometer egg hatches, including the 100% IVs, starting right now. Man, guys, there is a lot of information out there, so if anything gets overwhelming, it is okay. Just make sure to remember the things that are most important for you. We do have Galarian Meowth, 100% IV egg level 591. We then have Eevee, 100% IV 612. We then have Pichu, 100% IV 270. Cleffa, 100% IV 383. We have Igglybuff, 100% IV 306. Togepi, 100% IV 375. We have Galarian Zigzagoon, 290. Azuril, 208. We have Badu, 489. We have Buneary, 719. We have Chingling, that's gonna be 574. We have Shiny Potential 4, the Happiny, which is gonna be 212. Munchlax, which is gonna be 1081. Riolu, Shiny in there, 567. Woobat is going to be a Shiny as well, 580. We have Galarian Darumaka, which is gonna be 823. And Galarian Stunfisk, 1235. So guys, in this, it is great time to make sure to get seven kilometer eggs. They are gonna be 3.5 kilometers on a regular incubator and even lower on a super incubator. So guys, highly suggest you clear out all of your eggs and make sure to get these seven kilometer eggs to try to get some of these amazing Pokemon. So guys, make sure to stay after all those, which is gonna lead us into tip number three. Tip number three is gonna include the research. We do have a welcome research that is going to be pretty cool for Pokemon Go. So let's check out the welcome research right now and what it's gonna get you. And research is going to be the welcome research here. It looks like they're saving Victini for day two, which totally makes sense as the grand finale, but the welcome research is going to include take a snapshot of your bunny for 10 incenses. Guys, amazing. Use an incense for 200 great balls. Congratulations, everybody. <laughs> Seriously. Then we have catch 20 fire type Pokemon for a Charizard 100% IV is going to be 1238. Then we do have catch 20 water type Pokemon for a Blastoise. 100% IV is going to be 1057. Then we have catch 20 grass type Pokemon for a Venusaur encounter 1166. Make sure to pine up any of these starters if you do need more candy. Then we have battle in two raids for a Gibble encounter. Gibble 100% IV is going to be 477. That one does have a shiny. Hopefully you guys do get that. And then make a new friend for a Snorlax encounter. 100% IV level 15, 1382. All right, guys. So that is super important to make sure to take a full advantage of that. It's not too hard. It's going to be definitely easy for you guys to obtain. It's going to be great. Which is then going to lead us into tip number four. Tip number four is going to include all of the Pokemon that are gonna be relevant to the Go Battle Leagues, what is gonna be their primary league that you're gonna focus on, and then what the 100% IVs and close to them are going to be. Now, I'm just gonna say this. There are Pokemon in here that are relevant to more than the league that we're gonna highlight, but there are so many Pokemon to cover. I am just gonna give you the highlighted best league for each of these Pokemon. Let's check that out right now. I hope you guys are sitting down because we're now going into the Go Battle League. So we start off with the Alolan Muck, ranked 10 in the Ultra League, 100% IV, 0 15, 15. Then we're gonna go into Alolan Marowak, is gonna be 100% IV, 0 14, 14 in the Great League. And then we're going into Dragonite, best is gonna be Master League, 100% IVs, all maxed out. Then we have Togekiss, is going to be in the Ultra League, because we already know what the Master League is, it's all maxed out. It's gonna be a 0 15, 15 at level 28. Then, if we do have Togekiss in the Master League, I said all maxed out. Next, we're gonna have the Lantern in the Great League. Rank 72, 100% IV is gonna be 0, 13, 14. Then we have Charizard in the Ultra League is gonna be the best placing, rank 46 at 0, 13, 15. And guys, if you do want to pause here and check out any of the moves, please do. There's a lot of information to cover, so we're not going to go over everything we need. There's pause buttons here to make sure you get the right move set down, or you can use pvpoke.com. Polyrath, Ultra League, 98 rank, 8 15, 15. Then we have Swampert in the Great League, rank 4, 0 14, 14 at level 19. Then Swampert in the Ultra League is going to be ranked 8 at a 0 14, 13 at 33 and a half level. Then we have Sceptile, best it's gonna be in the Ultra League, 0, 15, 13, level 38. Then we have the Shift Tree in the Great League, 100% IV is gonna be a 0, 14, 11 at rank 51. Then we have Skarmory, Great League, 26 rank, 0, 15, 14 for rank one. 
Then we do have Vigoroth in the Great League. It's going to be ranked 19. 100% IV is going to be 115.15. Sableye in the Great League. It's going to be ranked 53 regular at 100% IV. 14.76. You can buddy boost that one to level 41. Then we have Metacham. Great League. Rank 32. 100% IV is going to be maxed out and buddy boosted as well. Then we have Great League Altaria, rank 5, Dragon Breath, Sky Attack, Dragon Pulse. 100% IV is going to be level 29, 0, 14, 15. Then we do have the Master League Garchomp is going to be the best at rank 18, 100% IV, all 15s. Toxicroak is going to rank the best in Great League, rank 95, 1, 15, 15 at level 22 and a half. Then in the Great League, we have Galarian Stunfisk, rank 3, 100% IV is going to be 0, 12, 15 for this one. Then we have Perserker, 100% IV is going to be all 15s in the Ultra League. It's going to be ranked the best at rank 30. Then we have Obstagoon, best is going to be Ultra League, rank 49. 100% IV is going to be 4, 14, 15. Then we have the Azumarill, rank 2 in the Great League. 100% IV is going to be 8, 15, 15. Or you can definitely buddy boost a different one as well, but we'll keep it surface level for right now and then in the ultra league we have lucario 115 15 for the 100 iv so good luck guys make sure to take down the ones that you do want so that's going to do it guys make sure to stay after all those pokemon for anybody out there that's looking to upgrade their go battle league pokemon their ivs as well as anything else as far as the stats go for your pokemon or even if you don't have one but if it is a starter like i did mention make sure to save that for calm day unless you feel like using some type of elite charge tm which is then going to lead us into tip number five Tip number five is gonna include all of the raid Pokemon that are gonna be out there. Guys, there's gonna be raids spawning, so make sure you have your friends list, make sure to be in my Discord, make sure to have everybody ready to go because there are going to be raid Pokemon out there. So let's check out all the 100% IVs for the Pokemon that are in legendary raids and other impactful raids starting right now. And then finally, we do have the raid Pokemon. Guys, there's gonna be raids going on. Make sure to invite friends if you need it or there's gonna be tons of people going on. In the tier one raids, we do have the shiny Timber out there. We do have Clink shiny as well. If you want the 100% IVs, make sure to pause here. Timber is going to be 751. In tier 2, we have Gibble. 635 is going to be 100% IV. Or if it's sunny or windy weather, it's going to be 794. And we also have Alolan Executor in there. Tier 3 is going to be Skarmory. We have Chansey as well as the Aerodactyl. All of them do have Shinies. Then in tier 4, we have the Venusaur, the Charizard, and the Blastoise. We're already seeing so many of these. I don't really recommend doing these raids, but if you guys do want to, you can. They're not going to have Shinies. And then finally, in the Tier 5, we're going to have Kyogre and Groudon coming back. 2351 for the 100% IV regular and then boosted. Both of them have the same 2939 that are going to be weather boosted. So guys, there's going to be tons of trainers out there. Good luck getting all of these raid Pokemon. Do pine up the ones you do need. And I would definitely say stay away from the Tier three and four if you don't have to do it. Tier one and two look pretty lucrative and then tier five also looks lucrative as well. Wow guys, this event is gonna be absolutely insane. I hope you guys are ready. If anything changes, I will try to pin it in the comments below. I'm gonna be very busy over the next couple of days trying to fill you guys in on all of the topics that are going on and vlogging and playing for myself. So it's gonna be a busy couple of days. So if something slips through the crack, I do apologize. Let's make sure this event is the best possible. And for all those players that are not able to make it, I congratulate you guys because now you have some GoFest spawns for the entire weekend as well. So make sure to maximize completely on that. So thank you guys for tuning in. All my likers, commenters, subscribers, Patreon members, everybody who takes your support, subscription, and participation to the next level. I'm going to see you guys out on the next video. Peace. I just want to take a moment and sincerely thank all of my Patreon members, everybody that has taken their subscription to the next level and chosen to support me on this platform. I greatly appreciate you guys as a growing channel and really trying to grow and improve as much as I possibly can. I really appreciate the extra support. You guys mean the absolute world to me. I cannot wait to connect with you soon and I appreciate you guys all for being a part of the Trainer Club. I will see you guys out on that next video.